festival, uh, solo arrangement, a lot of uh, like reharmonization going on, replacing uh, chords. And the reason I didn't bring my gypsy guitar is actually because I, I live in, most of, spend most of my time in the U.S. these days in Los Angeles, and I haven't been to Sweden. I have my gypsy guitar in Sweden, and I haven't like, uh, been to Sweden in a few months, so it's in the case somewhere up in the north. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing and producing music lately for, for other kind of artists, and so, so that's why I only brought this one. But this is a lovely Benedetto all around. No, I don't have to play this is acoustic with this. So I got a nice sound. I don't need to use that much of the electric uh, volume. Uh, any questions? Right there. So how would you recommend developing something like that? So improvising on a standard and accompanying yourself at the same time. You mean the chord melody arrangement, right? When you Not play necessarily the just the chords and like playing the melody with the chords, but when you're actually improvising on a standard. Do you mean single string lines or do you mean when I actually play uh I mean when Yeah. You mean the actual harmonization or you mean well, you mean, and then the line mean when I play it? Yeah, and that kind of thing. And still keep it cohesive as a kind of side of piece. Yeah. Um, when it co I can just mention a little bit about chord melody. This goes for all the different styles. Jazz, gypsy, uh, even if you do something more like classical or Latin. Um, if you know, for instance, the first chord, you know it's going to be like B flat minor or E flat 7, and this is the... flat seven chord with the ninth on top or find a B flat minor chord with the fifth on top. That's the basics of the thing. And so I want to do the same procedure for, for each and every chord. That's like the basic thing, number one. Step number two is to make something more happen. Finally, 
uh, mix it up like rhythmically and do melodies in between. <laughs> But this 